guys, I found out book on a big tree. Oh, really? Let's take a look at it. The story of the conservation of biodiversity. Once upon a time, in the diverse island of Burias Masbate, plenty of species were found. From the tallest trees to smallest insects. Due to each diverseness, humans rely all their needs and wants on what they can offer, like food, shelter, and clothes. Likewise, many other species are dependent on each other for such purposes. The richness of biodiversity makes the plants fit for the survival of each living species. However, as nature diversifies, human beings are also reproduces. As the number of people increases, their needs also increases. They need more space, converting natural environments into industrial and household purposes, thereby destroying the habitats of countless species. They need more things. That's why overexploitation in the natural resources are very evident, like deforestation, overharvesting, overfishing, or excessive in consuming resources. As the number of people increases, the disposal of waste from household, agriculture, and industry also increases. Lakes, rivers, and seas are becoming choked with plastic waste, which is killing life forms in the bodies of water. Air pollution is also increases as human uses different kind of machines and vehicles in their daily life activities. As a result, they've got the worst disaster. Floods, landslides, typhoons, hunger, and climate change. But one day, the warrior students from Adelina P. Lauriu National High School came and spread awareness to the community on how to promote planetary health towards biodiversity conservation in their simple ways. The warriors conducted cleanup drive, teach and inform people to have proper waste segregation and disposal, and recycle trashes in their home, school, and community. <laughs> The warrior also planted trees to eradicate air pollution and soil erosion to give shade to the humans and animals and also to serve as home for other living creatures. In addition, Mangroves were also planted to rehabilitate the home of various marine species, spawning ground for fishes and crustaceans, and it is also essential in protecting coastal community. In fact, Bansaras a new part of Antais Rafael's Calitasan planted thousands of mangroves for the revival and rehabilitation of the coastal area. With their simple ways, the warriors believe that this can make a greater change for the clean, green, safe, and reviving environment for the better tomorrow of the next generation. This proves that the future of our ecosystem really depends on how humans treat his environment. That was really a wonderful story. Now I know why we enjoy this beautiful scenery of biodiversity. It's because of them. I wish that my past life I was also one of them. <laughs> <laughs>